Hi, I'm Frank Ryan. I'm a certified public accountant, a retired Marine Reserve Colonel, and a retired member of the Pennsylvania House of Representatives, having represented the 101st District in Lebanon County, Pennsylvania, up until 2022. This election in 2024 is probably one of the most important elections that you can possibly imagine. I'm sure you've heard that before, but we're at a crossroads now. I hope in this election, we'll get as many people as we possibly can to make an informed decision at the ballot. Look at the issues. Be careful about whether or not you're being gaslighted. Be careful about whether or not the source of the information is accurate or whether or not it's just a campaign ad. Having spent time in Iraq and Afghanistan, and I was one of the first retirees to be called back out of retirement to go to Iraq in 2004, the young men and women that are serving our nation so diligently and so carefully deserve to know that the elected leaders that you've put in charge are in fact the ones that are in fact making careful, realistic, and sound decisions that are respectful of their lives. During Desert Storm, I was a reserve battalion commander in a training battalion when Iraq invaded Kuwait. When that happened, I was told that some of those men and women under my command would be immediately leaving to go over to the Middle East. Some of them did. Some did not return. And when I looked at those young men and women as I was bringing them up for formation, I said to them, your parents, your spouse, your children lent you to me. And it's my responsibility to look and value your life as diligently and as carefully as I possibly can with the objective of getting you home safe and sound. We owe that to the young men and women in combat areas that are forward deployed. We need to recognize and critically think through what we're asking our nation to do. Our nation's fiscal conditions are not the best. We have over $35 trillion in national debt. One day, I can tell you as a CPA, who spent a lifetime keeping companies out of bankruptcy, this will not end well. But the real voice here is you. It's not your elected legislator, it's not the president, it's not the Supreme Court. It's you casting an informed decision and making an informed vote. Know the candidates, look at their websites, see what they're saying and what they're not saying. Look for inconsistencies and demand answers. I've been really concerned about sometimes whether or not the press on the conservative or the liberal side have not been as careful in doing the homework to say what was important. We saw that in the election of 2020. We saw that during COVID-19, where so much information that the government put out was inaccurate. I was one of the people who asked to write to no request about the COVID-19 statistics to find out there was no science behind a lot of that data. That's a concern. We deserve better than that. This is not a partisan issue. Cast an informed vote in this election in 2024, but please, most importantly, get out and vote. Thank you so much and God bless you all.